navigator, part with the navigator. What is our current position? We're not there yet. The rally should be over this next rise. Keep heading east. How far to our new home? It's right above the waterfall. Oh, the valley is so beautiful. Cool. It's amazing. The trees are so big. This is the oldest part of the valley. The Native Americans called it Sasquatch Forest. <laughs> Sasquatch? Sounds funny. Oh, Max. Sasquatch means Bigfoot. Really? Do you think we'll see one? <laughs> I wouldn't doubt it. Don't be ridiculous. Bigfoot's just a myth. What's a myth? Like Santa Claus. But Santa Claus is real. Right. Down in the valley, peaceful and slow, I lost my sunshine. Where did it go? There goes the neighborhood dog. <laughs> More folks. People who need them. They thought I'd lost him chasing after creatures that didn't exist, but I'll show them all. <laughs> I'll catch me a Bigfoot. My name's not clear as my dad. Come on, Chris. Let's go home. Oh. <laughs> Christy, keep an eye on your sister while I unload. Okay. Come on, Maggie. <laughs> oh, will you look at that? Gosh, do you think the pilgrims lived here? Not pilgrims, turkey. <laughs> Pioneers. <laughs> Maggie, would you watch it? Oh, man. <laughs> look at this, Chris. Whoa. It's a weird place to store pine cones. Well, they said the place needed some cleaning. Let's get to work. Sometimes you just give up, sometimes you just look down. But when you work together, you just can't back out. Sometimes I may feel low, sometimes I may feel great. How do you think you'll feel? Just don't procrastinate. Try to work together. Dad, I don't hear anything. That's what I mean. It's perfectly quiet. No sirens, no car alarms. Just the wind. It's kind of weird. I like it. Do you think Mommy would have liked it here? I'm sure of it. She looked like I'm a broken man, dog. <laughs> a broken man. Come on down, Max. It's almost time for breakfast. We have to feed this old stove before it can feed us. Want to help me get some more wood? Do I have to? If you don't help, you don't get breakfast. Okay.
Maggie, are you gonna help me or not? Oh, yeah. What's wrong? Didn't you sleep well? I slept fine. I just... What does a Bigfoot look like? Are you still thinking about that? I don't know. Well, no one's ever really seen a Bigfoot before. But I guess they're big and hairy with big feet. Are there small ones too? No, there aren't any small ones. There aren't any at all. I told you, Bigfoot is a myth. It isn't real. But I... Come on, Maggie. I think I saw a Bigfoot last night. Oh, great. Where was it? In the backyard, picking up pine cones. What did it look like? Well, it was kind of short and furry. But Bigfoot are giant with lots of huge teeth. Yuck, Dad! <laughs> Maggie, it was probably just a raccoon. No, it was a Bigfoot. Then where is it now? Let me guess, it grew wings and flew away? No, it ran off into the woods. Daddy, if I catch him, can we keep him as a pet? Um, sure. Now let's eat. Daddy's taking us to his office today. You're early, John. We weren't expecting you until next week. Well, I heard we're due for a storm, so I wanted to get a head start on the final inspection and give the kids time to settle in. I hope you don't mind. Not at all. I'm glad you're here. These are my daughters. Maggie, Christy, this is Dave. Hello. Hi. Nice to meet you. This is the control room. Sort of like your brain controls your body. It will monitor and control the whole dam. What will the dam do? It's very simple. The dam will turn water into electrical power for people to use. Would you like to see how the dam will turn water into energy? This is one of the dam's six turbines. Water will come through here, spin the wheel, and generate a current of electrical energy. Why aren't they working? Right now, there isn't enough water in the reservoir to run the dam. Cool. Pretty cool. Uh oh. Ah! Oh. Not again. Oh. What is she doing now? Looks like she's cleaning up the backyard. <gasps> I'm beginning to worry about her. <laughs> she's acting really weird. Ooh, I'm so tired. I think I'll go to bed. It's not even dark yet. I know. But I'm ready to go to bed now. I lost my sunshine. Where did you go? Hey, 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 dog. Look at here, look at here, look, look. Bigfoot tracks. And judging by the size of them, it must be a baby. <laughs> Hey, dog, dog. Easier to catch. We'll set us a trap here on his path and wait. Thank <laughs> you. 
Here he comes, dog. Watch out! Watch out! He's getting away! Get him off! Uh, he got away. And if I didn't know better, I'd think maybe you were trying to help him out. So no dinner for you tonight, dog. Nothing. Zero. Uh. Bigfoot, but he didn't come back. If Dad finds out, you'll be in big trouble. Please don't tell, Chris. Please don't tell. Okay, but promise me you won't sneak out again. Girls, today we get to find out how much water has built up behind the dam. Probably looking for a drier place to move to. They'll be safe up here, won't they, Daddy? We'll have to keep an eye on them for a while, but they should be fine. Daddy, what would have happened to those birds if we hadn't found them? I don't think they would have survived here. It's a good thing we came along and saved them. Yep, we found them just in time. I hope their mommy finds them too.
Exciting dream. No, it wasn't a dream. It was real. They have fur and they live in nests. Stop it, Maggie. You promised me you'd behave. It was only a nightmare. You don't believe me? Nobody believes me? It was a real Bigfoot. Bigfoot. They live in secret caves and they need our help, just like the baby birds. Why don't you believe me? Okay, Maggie, calm down. It'll make you feel better. I'll check it out. Where is the secret cave? It's by the waterfall. Uh-huh. Okay. I'll stop by the waterfall on my way to work. Dad left me in charge. That means you have to listen to me. Now quit pouting. You still don't believe me? Mommy would have believed me. She always believed me. She would have believed in Bigfoot. Maggie, I miss Mommy too, but telling stories won't bring her back. It's not fair. I never got to say goodbye.
I'll surprise Dad with a homemade berry pie. Can I help? Only if you promise not to eat all the berries before we get home. And don't get flour everywhere like you did last time. I promise. Daughters of Davis? <gasps> ah, sorry. Did I scare you? Your father asked me to stop by and check on you. Just to keep you out of trouble. Glad to see you're doing well. I thought you were a Bigfoot. Ugh, again with Bigfoot? No, I am Stephen Walker, but my friends call me Ranger Steve. You look really old. <laughs> uh, please excuse my little sister. Maggie, don't be rude. Sorry. <laughs> That's quite all right. I've lived here in this valley for a very long time now. Then you must know about Bigfoot. Maybe. Have you ever seen him? Maggie, cut it out. She had a dream about Bigfoot. It wasn't a dream. When I was a boy, I used to dream about Bigfoot all the time. Wonder where those dreams have gone. Good day, daughters of Davis. Check on you again tomorrow. Hi, Daddy. Did you have a good day? I sure did. I checked on that Bigfoot family of yours. They should be safe by that waterfall for a long time. Really? Are you sure? Positively. I'll even help them out if they ever need it, so there's nothing to worry about. Great. Well, now that that's settled, let's eat. Sounds good to me. I'm starving. <laughs> okay, dog. I'm giving you one more chance. Don't mess it up, or I'll send you back to the pound where you belong. <laughs> Smells delicious. Where'd you find the berries this time of year? In the clearing by that old fence. And Ranger Steve was there. Oh? He talked about Bigfoot. <laughs> He's kind of crazy. He scared me. No, don't be afraid of Ranger Steve. He's a friend of mine. Knows more about these woods than anyone else. He's lived here all his life. I'm sure he knows a thing or two about Bigfoot. <sighs> Look out! It's a whole bunch of them! Ow! Oh! Ah! Uh -oh. Well, for once it wasn't your fault, dog. Ow. Come on, help me out. Not so rough, dog. You have beautiful daughters, girl. It's nice to finally meet them. Maggie looks just like her mother. She's stubborn like her mother. <laughs> Christy is patient like you. <laughs> yeah. I wanted them both to be here. She always came here when she wanted to think. It was her special place. I remember. I miss her. No. Where's Daddy? He went to work early. He'll be back this afternoon. Ready for breakfast? Uh-huh. Good. You run out back and get me some wood for the stove. I'll get started cooking. Aww. Chris, come here. Look at this. What happened to all the pine cones? Bigfoot came back. What? It was Bigfoot. What kind of animal would want to carry off all of our pine cones? They're not animals. They're Bigfoot. They took the pine cones. They used them for everything. Whatever it was, it sure worked fast. To gather up all these pine cones in one night. The storm will be here soon. This valley is going to flood. Flooding's good for business. We need the water to power the generators. Too much water, too much power is a bad thing for Sasquatch Forest. Do you believe in the legend of Sasquatch? I believe what my father and grandfather told me. Bigfoot are dreamwalkers. They visit children in their sleep and teach them to respect the woods. Do you think they're real? Dreams are real. A part of living. How can you tell that life is not a dream? <laughs> I forgot how much you like to preach. They left a trail, Chris. If we follow it, we'll find their secret cave. There is no secret cave, Maggie. How can you say that? Daddy was there. He saw it. He said so himself. You heard him. 
Daddy just pretended to see the Sasquatch so you wouldn't get upset. No, that's not true. You don't know that. You don't know anything. I know because Daddy told me. No, no he didn't. Fine, you can ask him yourself when he gets home. No, I'm going to find Bigfoot right now. I'll prove that you're wrong, you're wrong, you'll see. Suit yourself. I'm going to wait here until Dad gets home. He'll know what to do about this. Hello? Hello? 
Christy, Maggie, I'm home. Girls, I'm home. Christy, Maggie, girls, Christy, Maggie. Some people just won't believe in a legend until they've seen it with their own eyes. For some reason, as you get older, it gets harder to believe in things you can't see. Kinda sad. Unless something comes along and changes the way you look at things. See? I told you Daddy would come here to find us. Now you know the truth, John. The legend of Sasquatch is real. It's a secret that could not be told to now. This is Chief, the leader of the Bigfoot, a sort of a shaman. His wife, we call her Mama. Baby. The kids have already been introduced. You knew about this place all along. Why didn't you tell me? My family has been the guardian of the Bigfoot people for 16 generations. In that time, we've never told their secret to a single living soul. They chose to bring you here because they need your help. See, Daddy? I told you they were real. Now you have to believe me. She'll never let us let this down. <laughs> we can patch the water leaks with the dam with this pine cone pole. very serious. You could have stopped this. You could have prevented the dam from being built. The government has provisions for this. They could protect them. And ruin their way of life? They're not animals to be kept by men. They are beings older than mankind. They have chosen to remain here hidden from man. We have to contact the authorities. They're the only ones who can help us now. Oh. Uh -oh. They will lose their home if we don't get help. Is a house more important than the family that lives in it? Or the land more than the life in it? All they seek to preserve is their family and the life they choose. Is that too much to ask? <laughs> Sasquatch have chosen to reveal themselves to you and your family, John. Will you help them? Turbine tests tomorrow. Great! That's great news, John! Let's just say I believe the time is right. I call the little one Camille.
to gather up all the pine cones we can find so we can grind them up into lots of pine cone pulp to seal the rest of the cracks in the cave. Don't worry, Dad always has a plan. It's very simple. We ought to seal the cavern walls. <laughs> okay. Pretty soon the reservoir will flood their little hideaway, and the big foot will be forced out into the open. Then it could be too late to catch him. Gotta think this through. starts again. Watch it. Oops. 
you don't get those leaks fixed and reinforce the walls, this place will collapse. <laughs> Sasquatch are safe for now, but they fear the prophecy. Huh? What do you mean? Ages ago, when the Sasquatch first moved behind the waterfall, it was foretold that the water which has protected and sustained them for so long would rise up and destroy them someday in a great flood. So they're afraid of the rain? They fear the rising water. They will not leave the safety of the cavern. But it isn't fair. They didn't hurt anyone. They don't deserve this. Why can't we stop it from coming true? It is only a warning. It is not a judgment. It is a prediction of the future based on our actions in the present. Can we change the future? I cannot say. But we must try, Daughters of Davis. For as long as we keep trying, there is hope. going to be trouble, we ought to find out soon. If the cavern leaks, is there anything else we can do to stop it? I think we've done all we can. With all the water that's building up behind the cavern walls, it will be impossible to seal them again. down and everyone was asleep we should tell the others but will they believe me sure they will sasquatch believe in dreams they may want to find a new home <laughs> Think of life that way, daughter of Davis. This pine cone is only a shell. It is an empty container that once overflowed with the seeds of life. Should I be sad for this empty shell, or be happy for the life that is still growing in the forest because of it? Part of this pine cone still lives in every tree it has created. Part of the ones that you love still lives in you, no matter where they are.
down, Maggie. They're waiting for us. Sweetheart, we don't have much time. I don't want them to go away. Why do they have to leave so soon? They have to leave before sunrise, so they won't be seen. Come on now. No. Maggie, I'm sorry that I didn't believe you when you told me about the Sasquatch. I'm sorry they couldn't stay. But they're still our friends. Have to say goodbye. No. It's okay, Max. Don't cry. I'll stay with you.
The legend of Sasquatch doesn't end here. It lives on for other generations to tell. When Maggie finally got a chance to say goodbye, she realized she never had to. Because legends never leave us as long as we believe.